Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's look of the day, I'm going back into my Pinterest looks to try. And this is the look I want to do today. So this says that it's from a website called Lush lushmakeupideas.info and when I click on it it does not it doesn't like tell me who that look is from um, and there's also no name on the picture itself so if you know who did this look please let me know Again, this says it's from lushmakeupideas.info. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular face routine and then we will get into the eyeshadow look. Be right back. Okay, so that is my face all ready to go. Uh, well, that's bright. <gasps> so, hmm, first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, Tetris and Ipsy Block Party palette back to back all over my lids. So I'm gonna use my Farrah brush and just put this all over my lids and under my eyes. All right, so my alarm went off, Echo went off, started singing Havana, and Franny was in my sock drawer pulling all of the socks out. So I apologize for the interruption. Okay. So there is that. Now, this look has some black and blue. I think the shades that are in my Take Me Back to Brazil palette will do just fine. These here, and I also have a black. I will, whoa, apparently touch everything. I'm gonna put this brush back and I'm going to grab my set of Farrah brushes from my Ipsy Glam Bag that I got. So these. And 
first thing I'm going to do is take my number three mini tapered blending brush and go in this white shade that they have and prep the surface. I feel like these shimmery shades kind of help the more matte shades blend a little better, if that makes any sense. Maybe I'm just weird, but that's been my experience. So I'm going to go in this blue and she literally just puts it, puts it all over. So let's just do that. All right, I'm going to take my 205 Fly Wings brush in this navy sort of blue and go underneath because she does have this shade underneath as well. There we go. Going back into this darker blue. What do you want, bubs? Hmm? Being naughty? Are you being naughty? Alright, I'm going to take my 35E tapered blending brush and try and just smooth all of this out, blend it nicely, because right now it's looking a bit blotchy, and I don't like that. The fallout on this is just absurd. Use a fan brush every time for the fallout, otherwise you will ruin your makeup. Some people just do their eyeshadow first. I've never tried doing it like that, but I suppose I could. Okay, come here. Come on. Happy? You stop playing with my socks? Hmm? You stop playing with my socks? Here, sit up here. On James. You sit on James. There you go. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, now the Chubbs is coming. Hi, Chubby Chubbs. Are you jelly? Are you jelly, baby? Yeah, you're a jelly kitty. Oh, both my kids are jelly. <laughs> Well, hi. What are you doing? Okay, I'm putting the darkest blue in this corner because her corners look pretty dark. Which seems slightly counterintuitive because usually when I do my makeup, I want the inner corner to be lighter. She also has like some silvery white shade blended into the top, so I'm gonna go in with Santorini from my Huda Beauty highlighting palette. And put it up top here to blend this in. Please. So now for the fun part, we get a little brush. So like this one, this will work, and some concealer, okay, and we go in here, out. 
around here. Now, setting powder. And now I'm going to line it with glitter using my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Lid Line and Lash. And this has a glitter end to it, so I'm gonna use that. Bear back. Okay, now I'm gonna put the Ico Black Magic Eyeliner on, just a thin line, and my Pixie by Petra mascara. I will put on my kiss lashes and my gloss, and we should be good to go. All right, guys, so that is it for the look today. Now I'm going to add my finishing spray. This is my Rimmel London Stay Matte Fix and Go. And then my Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. This is also considered a uh, setting spray. It says for after makeup sets and adds a dewy finish and protects. So we'll try this as well. There we go. And of course the gloss that I used was my Total Shine Addict from Victoria's Secret in the shade Punchy. So I'm gonna bring you guys in. Whoop. So you can see this look up close. Let me just tone the light down a little bit there. And there you go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this look of the day. Again, this was from lushmakeupideas.info. It does not give any credit to an MUA. So if you know who did it, please let me know and I will tag them below in the description. Feel free to check out my other videos as well. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, for your continued support. You guys are awesome. I have appreciated all of the comments and the love that I have received. And I hope that you guys are encouraged and that you have fun with your makeup because that's really what this is about. Self-care and having fun with makeup. So like I always say, you guys know it's coming. No matter who you are or where you are, you are loved and you're enough.